Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Buller. Welcome to my first of three eBay, well, spring eBay purchase recap videos. So during the spring months, I purchased some stuff on eBay, and I want to show you what I got in this video. My first one are my Pittsburgh Pirate autographed items. Well, actually, not the two baseballs or the bobblehead, but these are the other ones. You're flat, two-dimensional-ish type items. Anyway, I'm going to show you these items in the order with which I received them. I'd say the first item I'm going to show you is the coolest. One of the things are not autographed, you know, right there, but that's okay. I'm going to show you the first item here. JSA Authenticated. Willie Stargell Foundation. It's real thin. It's like paper thin. It looks like a thank you. It's the, the thank you for your generosity inscription that made me want this. Because if I was saw this online, I would have thought, oh, that's probably just a stamp. Well, when you got the JSA, I'm not worried about that now. That's a cool Stargell item to add to the collection, and I didn't pay all that much for it. This is a cool uh, one to have in my collection. This is only my second Topps contract I have. It's not like I'm trying to collect these a ton, but in 1987... Don Allen, Don A. Robinson, you know, got his contract from Tops and got paid 75 bucks for three seasons, 88, 89, and 90. And I liked Don Robinson because he was a real baseball player. He was a pitcher who took pride in his at-bats. So that was a really cool one to get. Well... I'm glad I picked this up for less than 10 bucks. That's including tax and shipping less than 10 bucks because Cole Tucker is no longer on the Pirates. Um, but the inscription was cool. First Marauders game. So, yeah, he was a pretty highly touted prospect. So, that was a cool pickup. Something that's not cool. Now, the price was good. With tax and shipping, just a little over a dollar per. 35 Pittsburgh Pirates team photo cards. They were literally just placed. Yeah, this was the cardboard that was used. They taped it and just placed on top and then jammed into a bubble envelope. And they wrote, do not bend on it. No surprise, a whole bunch of these got dinged. Ugh. You're a stupid seller. <laughs> You're an inconsiderate packager. Something. And, you know, I'm glad to get a lot of these. I did not even take the time to organize them by name. I do not have William Tavares. It's always good to get Ramos Ramirez. Solomon Torres, I don't have that one. But, in just a moment... Okay, now they're getting damaged. We've got Jeff Daniels. Or, I'm sorry, Jeff Daniels. Jeff D'Amico. I do not have that one. I do not have a Brian Bowringer. Or Carlos Rivera. So, you know, it was good to get some of these. Jeff Rebelay. So. There was apparently a little bit of water damage. And I don't have some of these. But it wasn't really worth going through the trouble of returning all these because I do want some of my collection, but the Jason Kendall. It, it's got water damage. There's a Trey Beeman who is fused to the back of this. If I were to pull these apart, there's going to be so much paper loss. Probably just want to junk that one, which is a shame. Got Mark Johnson. Once again, this is not cool. These ones were destroyed. And these ones, the biggest ones, actually survived the best. So, yeah, shame on that seller. You kind of suck at life. But you got your whopping $37.09. But you didn't get all that much because that includes tax and shipping. So, any case, yeah, a little vent there. You did a bad job, seller. But it wasn't worth returning them all. So, I just bit the bullet a little bit on that one. So, I wanted a fresh... 2013 wild card game ticket and I did I really wanted this I got one signed by Francisco Liriano who was the winning pitcher um, they also happen to have a couple of NLDS tickets in there too which that didn't 
mean as much to me, but I really wanted the 2013 wildcard game. Yeah, that was the blackout game, the Johnny, the Cueto game. That was cool. That's the only unsigned item I got here. Then I picked up three Pirates signed photos, all from the same seller for a very reasonable price for all three of them. We got Jared Hughes, who I really liked Jared Hughes. Really did. Got Clint Hurdle. Very cool. That would also be from the wild, 2013 wild card game. And then I picked up this photo, signed by six people. This would be a 2016 era photo. Oh, let's keep complaining. The Pirates won 98 games in 2015. Second best record. The only team that was better than them was the Cardinals, so they had to play in a wild card game. The first and second best record in all of Major League Baseball had to play a one and done. And the Pirates lost. They got bum gardenered. No, wait, wait, wait. It was against the, uh... Oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. That's hilarious. Well, anyway, yeah. That's... It was against the... Yeah. Yeah, that stinks. But in any case, yeah. So in 2016, they, they cut payroll massively. Didn't re-sign some players. It was terrible. And this is some of the quality players you got here from 2016. We got Archimedes Caminero, Eric Kratz, Eric Fryer, Kyle Lobstein. Yeah, well, Yvonne Nova and Clint Hurdle is cool, though. But anyway, yeah, very good. Interesting little collection. Stop griping there, Math Bowler. Um, picked these up for a really good price. $8.42, tax and shipping included. Two signed Bradenton Marauders magazines. Never heard of Jarek Cunningham, but that's cool to get him. I really wanted the Tom Prince. That's why I got it. Tom Prince is awesome. A couple seasons ago, uh, the Reds and Pirates had some unpleasant exchanges with each other. And Yasiel Puig's last game with the Reds, he quote-unquote fought the whole Pirates team, which is a very misleading thing. It's more like Yasiel Puig tried to take on the entire Pirates team but couldn't get past the 50-something-year-old bench coach. Tom Prince, who's awesome. He dug in his heels and just took him on. It was awesome. Ten Bill Verdon signed photo cards. Yeah, it goes to show how many of these things are out there, but $15.88 for all of them. Yeah, $1.59, essentially. Just under that for all of each. <laughs> So, ironically, not too long after buying these, I saw one of these and a letter that was signed by him at a flea market, and they wanted $30 for it. All I cared about was the letter. They would not break them up. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't tell him, dude, I just bought 10 of these for a buck fifty-nine each. <laughs> nah, no need to do that. That was an awesome deal there. Some of those duplicates won't stay in my collection. They'll find their places other ways. And the last one, yeah, Tom Prince. Got another Tom Prince. I don't have this photo card of him, so that was a cool way to end it. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I do appreciate it. If you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Oh, it was the Cubs! In 2015, we got Arietta. I was getting my 2014, 2015. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Take care, everybody.